Today, we are diving into the intense and grueling world of military training. Let's take a moment to appreciate the men and women who dedicate their lives to serving their country. These elite soldiers endure extreme conditions, push limits, and sacrifice their comfort for the greater good. So, as we explore these intense training programs, let us honor the bravery and resilience of these extraordinary individuals. Welcome back to our channel ladies and gentlemen and thank you for joining us on this thrilling journey. But before we begin please show us some love by liking and hitting the subscribe button so you never miss any of our fascinating content. Number 10, South Korean Warfare Command. The South Korean Special Warfare Command is the premier special forces unit of the Republic of Korea Armed Forces. It is responsible for a wide range of missions, including counterterrorism, hostage rescue, special reconnaissance, and direct action. The South Korean Special Warfare Command was formed in 1977, and it has since become one of the most respected special forces units in the world. The unit is composed of approximately 3,000 soldiers, who are drawn from all branches of the South Korean Armed Forces. The South Korean Special Warfare Command is divided into two main branches, the 707th Special Mission Group and the 707th Special Mission Brigade. The 707th Special Mission Group is responsible for counterterrorism and hostage rescue missions. The group is also responsible for the training and deployment of the SWC's counterterrorism forces. The 707th Special Mission Brigade is responsible for special reconnaissance and direct action missions. The brigade is also responsible for the training and deployment of the SWC's Special Reconnaissance and Direct Action Forces. The South Korean Special Warfare Command is equipped with the latest weapons and technology, including assault rifles, sniper rifles, and night vision goggles. The unit also uses helicopters and other aircraft to support its operations. The South Korean Special Warfare Command is a highly trained and equipped special forces unit that is prepared to carry out the most demanding missions. The unit plays a vital role in the defense and security of South Korea. The South Korean Special Warfare Command is a highly respected special forces unit that plays a vital role in the defense and security of South Korea. The unit is known for its rigorous training program and its ability to carry out the most demanding missions. Number 9, Italian Special Force. The Italian Special Forces are some of the most elite and respected units in the world. They are responsible for a wide range of missions, including counterterrorism, hostage rescue, special reconnaissance, and direct action. The Italian Special Forces are divided into two main branches, the Army Special Forces Command Comfos, and the Navy Special Forces Command Comsibin. The training for the Italian Special Forces is one of the most difficult in the world. It lasts for two years and includes a wide range of physical and mental challenges. Candidates must be in excellent physical condition and must be able to think critically and make quick decisions under pressure. The Italian Special Forces are equipped with the latest weapons and technology, including assault rifles, sniper rifles, and night vision goggles. The units also use helicopters and other aircraft to support their operations. The Italian Special Forces are widely respected for their professionalism and effectiveness. They have been involved in several high-profile operations, including the rescue of hostages, the elimination of terrorists, and the protection of Italy's national security. The Italian Special Forces are a vital part of Italy's defense and security apparatus. They are highly trained and equipped, and they are prepared to carry out the most demanding missions. Number 8. The French National Gendarmerie Intervention Group. The French National Gendarmerie Intervention Group is the premier counterterrorism unit of the French Gendarmerie. It is one of the most elite and secretive units in the world, and it is responsible for a wide range of missions, including hostage rescue, direct action, counterterrorism, and special reconnaissance. The French National Gendarmerie Intervention Group was formed in 1973, in the aftermath of the Munich Massacre at the 1972 Olympic Games. The unit was initially trained by the British Special Air Service, and it has since become one of the most respected special forces units in the world. The training for the French National Gendarmerie Intervention Group is one of the most difficult in the world. It lasts for two years and includes a wide range of physical and mental challenges. Candidates must be in excellent physical condition and must be able to think critically and make quick decisions under pressure. The French National Gendarmerie Intervention Group is equipped with the latest weapons and technology, including assault rifles, sniper rifles, and night vision goggles. The unit also uses helicopters and other aircraft to support its operations. 
The French National Gendarmerie Intervention Group is a highly secretive unit, and its operations are often classified. However, the unit has been credited with several successful missions, including the rescue of hostages, the elimination of terrorists, and the protection of France's national security. Number 7, the Australian Commandos. The Australian Commandos, officially known as the 2nd Commando Regiment, is the Special Forces Unit of the Australian Army. It is one of the most elite and secretive units in Australia, and it is responsible for a wide range of missions, including counterterrorism, hostage rescue, special reconnaissance, and direct action. The Australian Commandos were formed in 1996, when the 4th Battalion was renamed and re-rolled as the 2nd Commando Regiment. The regiment has its roots in the Australian independent commando companies that were raised during the Second World War. The training for the Australian commandos is one of the most difficult in the world. It lasts for two years and includes a wide range of physical and mental challenges. Candidates must be in excellent physical condition and must be able to think critically and make quick decisions under pressure. The Australian commandos are equipped with the latest weapons and technology, including assault rifles, sniper rifles, and night vision goggles. The regiment also uses helicopters and other aircraft to support its operations. The Australian commandos are widely respected for their professionalism and effectiveness. The regiment is considered to be one of the most elite special forces units in the world. Number 6, the United States Army Delta Force. Delta Force, officially known as 1st Special Forces Operational Detachment Delta, is the United States Army's premier counterterrorism unit. It is one of the most elite and secretive units in the world, and it is responsible for a wide range of missions, including hostage rescue, direct action, counterterrorism, and special reconnaissance. Delta Force was formed in 1977 by Colonel Charles Beckwith, a Special Forces, Green Berets, officer who was inspired by the British Special Air Service. The unit was initially tasked with conducting counterterrorism missions, but it soon expanded its mission to include other types of operations. The training for Delta Force is one of the most difficult in the world. It lasts for two years and includes a wide range of physical and mental challenges. Candidates must be in excellent physical condition and must be able to think critically and make quick decisions under pressure. Delta Force is equipped with the latest weapons and technology, including assault rifles, sniper rifles, and night vision goggles. The unit also uses helicopters and other aircraft to support its operations. Delta Force is widely respected for its professionalism and effectiveness. The unit is considered to be one of the most elite special forces units in the world. The unit is composed of approximately 1,000 soldiers, who are drawn from all branches of the U.S. military. The unit is headquartered at Fort Bragg in North Carolina and the unit's motto is, De Oppresso Liber, to free the oppressed. Number 5, the Indian Army Para Special Forces. The Indian Army Para Special Forces, also known as Para Commandos, is the special forces unit of the Indian Army. It is one of the most elite and secretive units in India, and it is responsible for a wide range of missions, including counterterrorism, hostage rescue, special reconnaissance, and direct action. The Para SF was formed in 1966, in the aftermath of the 1965 Indo-Pakistani War. The unit was initially trained by the British Special Air Service, and it has since become one of the most respected special forces units in the world. The training for the Para Commandos is one of the most difficult in the world. It lasts for two years and includes a wide range of physical and mental challenges. Candidates must be in excellent physical condition and must be able to think critically and make quick decisions under pressure. The Para Commandos is equipped with the latest weapons and technology, including assault rifles, sniper rifles, and night vision goggles. The unit also uses helicopters and other aircraft to support its operations. The unit is composed of approximately 6,000 soldiers, who are drawn from all branches of the Indian Army. The unit is headquartered in Nahan in Himachal Pradesh and the unit's motto is, Baladanam Vira Lakshanam, Sacrifice is the adornment of a brave man. Number 4, Israeli Sayrat Matkal. Sayrat Matkal is the special forces unit of the Israeli Defense Forces. It is one of the most elite and secretive units in the world, and it is responsible for a wide range of missions, including hostage rescue, counterterrorism, and deep reconnaissance. Sayrat Matkal was founded in 1957 by Abraham Arnon, who was inspired by the British Special Air Service. The unit was initially tasked with conducting deep reconnaissance behind enemy lines, but it soon expanded its mission to include other types of operations. 
The training for Sayerat Makkal is one of the most difficult in the world. It lasts for two years and includes a wide range of physical and mental challenges. Candidates must be in excellent physical condition and must be able to think critically and make quick decisions under pressure. Sayerat Matkal is equipped with the latest weapons and technology, including assault rifles, sniper rifles, and night vision goggles. The unit also uses helicopters and other aircraft to support its operations. Sayerat Matkal is widely respected for its professionalism and effectiveness. The unit is considered to be one of the most elite special forces units in the world. The unit is composed of approximately 300 soldiers, who are drawn from all branches of the Israeli Defense Forces. The unit is headquartered in Tel Aviv, Israel and the unit's motto is, Who Dares Wins. Sayerat Matkal is a highly secretive unit, and its operations are often classified. However, the unit has been credited with several successful missions, including the rescue of hostages, the assassination of terrorists, and the destruction of enemy targets. Number 3, the British Special Air Service. The British Special Air Service is a special forces unit of the British Army. It was founded in 1941 by David Sterling and is headquartered in Hereford, England. The SAS is known for its highly trained and skilled soldiers, who are experts in a wide range of military skills, including special operations, counterterrorism, and hostage rescue. The British Special Air Service is a highly secretive unit, and its members are not allowed to publicly discuss their work. However, the SAS has been involved in several high-profile operations throughout its history, including the Second World War, the Falklands War in 1982, the Gulf War in 1991, and the War on Terror, including the invasion of Afghanistan in 2001 and the invasion of Iraq in 2003. The British Special Air Service is a highly respected and feared unit, and its soldiers are considered to be among the best in the world. The British Special Air Service is also one of the most selective units in the British Army, and its training is notoriously difficult. To become a member of the British Special Air Service, soldiers must first complete the Basic Parachute Course and the Special Forces Selection Course. The Special Forces Selection Course is a grueling six-week course that tests soldiers' physical and mental limits. Once soldiers have completed the Special Forces Selection Course, they must then complete the British Special Air Service Probation Course. The British Special Air Service Probation Course is a two-year course that teaches soldiers the skills and knowledge they need to be successful members of the British Special Air Service. The British Special Air Service is a highly specialized unit, and its soldiers are trained to operate in a wide range of environments and conditions. They are experts in a wide range of military skills, including close-quarters combat, unconventional warfare, guerrilla tactics, anti-terrorism, hostage rescue, and special operations. The British Special Air Service is a valuable asset to the British Army, and its soldiers have played a key role in several successful military operations. The British Special Air Service is also a highly respected unit, and its soldiers are considered to be among the best in the world. Number 2. The United States Navy SEALs. The United States Navy SEALs, sea, air, and land, are the U.S. Navy's primary special operations force and a component of the Naval Special Warfare Command. Among the SEALs' main functions are conducting small unit special operation missions in maritime, jungle, urban, arctic, mountainous, and desert environments. SEALs are typically ordered to capture or kill high-level targets, or to gather intelligence behind enemy lines. SEAL team personnel are hand-selected, highly trained, and possess a high degree of proficiency in direct action and special reconnaissance, among other tasks like sabotage, demolition, intelligence gathering, hydrographic reconnaissance, training, and advising friendly militaries or other forces. Depending on the availability of platforms, threat level, and environment, different methods can be used for the insertion and extraction of SEALs into a target location. The SEALs were founded in 1962 by President John F. Kennedy, who was inspired by the success of the British Special Air Service during the Second World War. The SEALs were initially trained to conduct maritime and coastal warfare operations, but their mission has since expanded to include a wide range of special operations missions. SEALs are known for their rigorous training and high standards. The SEAL training pipeline is one of the most challenging in the world, and only a small percentage of candidates make it through. SEAL training includes basic underwater demolition. SEAL training is a 24-week course that tests the candidate's physical and mental toughness. After training, SEAL candidates must complete advanced SEAL qualification training, 
which is a 12-week course that teaches them specialized skills such as combat diving, demolition, and parachuting. Once they have completed training, SEALs are assigned to a SEAL team. SEAL teams are typically made up of 12 to 24 SEALs, and they are trained to operate in all types of environments. SEAL teams are often deployed to remote and hostile locations, and they must be able to operate independently for long periods. SEALs have played a significant role in many of the U.S. military's most important conflicts, including the Vietnam War, the Gulf War, and the War on Terror. SEALs are also responsible for some of the most daring and successful special operations missions in U.S. history, such as the raid that killed Osama bin Laden. The SEALs are an elite special operations force that is known for its rigorous training, high standards, and daring missions. SEALs play a vital role in the U.S. military, and they are often called upon to carry out the most difficult and dangerous missions. Number 1. Russian Alpha Group Spetsnaz Alpha Group Spetsnaz is the premier counterterrorism unit of the Federal Security Service of the Russian Federation. It was founded in 1974 in response to the 1972 Munich Massacre, and it is one of the most elite and secretive special operations forces in the world. Alpha Group Spetsnaz is responsible for a wide range of missions, including counterterrorism, hostage rescue, and high-risk arrests. It is also often used as a first strike force in times of crisis. AS operators are highly trained and skilled in a variety of disciplines, including hand-to-hand -hand combat, firearms handling, explosives, and foreign languages. AS has been involved in several high-profile operations over the years, including the rescue of hostages from the Soviet embassy in Beirut in 1985, the storming of the Dubrovka Theater in Moscow in 2002, and the capture of Chechen warlord Shamil Basayev in 2006. Alpha Group Spetsnaz is a highly respected and feared force, and it is considered to be one of the most effective counterterrorism units in the world. Alpha Group Spetsnaz operators are recruited from the best and brightest of the Russian military and security forces. They undergo rigorous training in a variety of disciplines, including hand-to-hand -hand combat, firearms handling, explosives, and foreign languages. Alpha Group Spetsnaz operators are equipped with the latest and greatest weapons, gear, and technology. This gives them a significant advantage over their adversaries. Alpha Group Spetsnaz is a highly secretive unit. Its operations are often classified, and its operators rarely speak publicly about their work. And there you have it, the top 10 most difficult military training in the world. We hope you found this video both eye-opening and inspirational. If you are amazed by the dedication and determination of these soldiers, take a moment to show support. Drop a comment below with your thoughts on this video. Thank you for joining us today stay adventurous and keep pushing your limit.